Hey guys, welcome back. So um, today I'm going to show you how to briefly organize your really, really, really small kitchen. I have such a small kitchen, there's absolutely nothing to it. It's amazing, I can't even function in this house. Um, I'm going to give you a couple tips on just how to organize it and keep everything small. So here's my kitchen. Okay, so this is my kitchen. As you can tell, it is not big at all. I have practically no such thing as storage, and I have to learn to keep it clean. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is this cabinet right here. Um, we purchased this cabinet because we didn't have enough room for everything. And what I did on top was I took this old bike basket that my husband had when he was riding his bike, and I just put things like um, sponges, um, dishwasher, cleaner, Clorox wipes, um, dish soap, stuff like that, stuff that we would need. Now right here, this is a paper towel holder, I will admit, but since we don't have any paper towels on it, I'm going to put napkins right here because it's a perfect spot for it. Now up here, it's a little bit disorganized right now, but I have um, my plastic wrap, and if you can tell my wax paper and my foil back there. <laughs> if you have a really, really, really tiny kitchen and you have no storage space like me, this little cabinet is a great investment. Okay, so this, these are my cabinets. That's all I have. These are the only cabinets I have. And of course, when you open them up, I hope they're not dirty because my husband was in here. Um, yeah, they are a little bit. But this is what I did. Of course, I have my dishes on the first, like plates, little tiny bowls, little tiny plates, bowls, and the kids' plate or the kids' bowls. If you go up, this isn't supposed to be here. Um, there's some dishes that we don't use very often, but we still have them. I can't get my husband to get rid of them. <laughs> he won't get rid of them. Next, I have my cutting boards and my Pyrex dishes. I keep my Pyrexes up here because I don't have anywhere else to put them. And it's a complete spot, and it's good. So I like it. Up here we have um, my kids' cups, our cups, and mugs. As you can tell, we do not have a lot of cups. If you have little tiny storage space like me, the fewer the things you have, the better. So we don't have many cups. OK, um, this cabinet is a little bit more dirty. It's not very organized, but on the first shelf I have my crock pot. The second shelf I have lids for like my skillets and stuff like that. And we have some barbecue tools in the back. Second shelf I have small storage containers. I have colanders, bowls, and more colanders. <laughs> Up here I have the red, I have the round bowls in the back and a squarish, rectangle-ish sort of bowl. Right here I have my measuring cups. They fit into one another, so that makes it really easy to store. Um, back there is our small pitcher, and this goes to our blender. Up here is this miscellaneous stuff. It's, we don't use it very often. I probably should get rid of it, except for um, this, the potato cutter. But yeah, we don't really use it. I probably should get rid of it. So that's that. This is my other countertop. As you can tell, there's nothing on it. Don't put anything on your counters. There is just, it needs to be clean and just good. Um, my mother gave me these um, little things. It's for, I think it's for tea, sugar, and flour. But my husband broke the one of these, broke the top by accident, so I just stuck um, plastic on top of it until I can get another one. This first drawer is just miscellaneous stuff like the cord to our griddle, um, more barbecue stuff, a cheese thing, popsicle holders. This next drawer, which is supposed to be a bread drawer, but since I don't like putting my bread in drawers, I put little lids to all of my skillets and my pans. They all fit in there. This drawer is my baking stuff. It has my cups, my spatulas, and my mixer parts. The next drawer down, I put our storage lids. And as you can tell, it's not really organized. But this is for the little bowls, and this is for our storage containers. And this is all of our Tupperware um, lids. Over here, I have the drink lids. Or I have um, the drink lids, yeah, pretty much. A lot of this is kids, but sometimes um, we have my husband's stuff in here um, because 
his, you know, stuff has lids. So I've got all the kids' lids in here. That way, if they want to drink, they can just, you know, practically get the lids themselves. Okay. Now we're going to move to the bottom of this. Down here is kind of crowded, but, I mean, it's very functional. <laughs> uh, you can't really see in there, but you can see that this is the blender bottom. These are big skillets. I have nowhere else to put them. They will only fit in here. My griddle and a really, really big soup pot that my mom got us. On a second shelf is our toaster. The reason we have it in there is because we don't use it very often, so why keep it out? It takes up counter space that I don't have. Um, here, whoops, here is a, um, a pizza, a pizza pan, and our roaster. Our roaster is at the bottom. You can't really see it. Um, also, our cookie sheets go in there too, but they're drying. So, so that's that. Okay. So over here is our stove. Look at that. I cannot get that one part off. I have very little storage over here, so I tend to keep things that I don't use very often, like cooling racks in there. Um, over here we have a coffee maker because my husband uses it all the time, and cream and sugar. Um, in this drawer, I have the butter knives and the medicine things that we have for my kids, the corn, corn holders, I don't know why we have them, the baster, the basting brush, the can openers, and straws. Down below, we have pots and pans. Now, one thing I learned through the years is that you have to stack your pots and pans. It saves you a ton of room, and it's just it's a lot less space. Um, our skillets are way back in the back. You can't really see them, but they're stacked too. And on the bottom, we have stainless steel pots, and they're stacked as well. Uh, over in this drawer, which is kind of empty at the moment, um, we have spoons, forks, and some knives. And we also have my kids' spoons and um, the peeler. Up here we have all of our good knives that we use all the time, like our steak knives and our stuff like that. Um, this is just the microwave and the toaster oven, which we use all the time, so that's why I keep it there. Oh, and it's cleaned. And a dishwasher. So. Oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. It's the like, best thing on the whole place of the planet. Okay, um, these are where I keep my silverware for cooking and my other stuff. Now, so you know that I don't have a lot of money, so what I did was I took a nail and I hammered it into the wall. And I did that several, several times until I had enough to carry my utensils. Um, I, this takes them out of the drawer and gives you a lot more space to work with if your stuff is hanging on the wall. I did the same thing over here with the potato masher and the whisks. So there you go. That's my kitchen. Super, super, super small, but very functional. And it's very neat and organized, and we don't have a lot that we have to fuss with to uh, put away or find a spot for. So, um, yep, that's it. I hope that helps you a little bit, and I'll see you next time.